Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigolos and gigolettes. It's me, Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Alrighty. It is Friday. What the fuck day is this? This is August 1st. July 31st. 7.54. And I am going to my first gig of the day. It's a um, it's a moving gig, Task Rabbit. I got this one got booked last night around. I was in the shower when I got the the, the booking notification, and I'm I'm in the chat with them, and I said, yeah, I can be there in the morning, no problem. They're like, okay, awesome. And then uh, they said they just need help with the heavier items. So no problem. Oh, and I, if I've learned anything over the last week and a half of moving furniture, <laughs> gotta have my lower back brace. This is, yeah, I'll just make things a little bit easier. Uh, so I'm, I'm chatting back and forth with them and then I get a message saying, hey, the other guy pulled out. Do you have anyone, like, should we find another tasker? Do you have someone you can bring? So I immediately made a couple phone calls and I got the same guy to help me the other day for the other gig, so. They're saying anywhere from two to three hours. Um, I bumped my rates up a little bit for this one, so I'm making, I'm making 40 bucks an hour for, for this one. So, yeah. Should be a, a grand old time. <laughs> uh, yeah, starting my, starting my day, I, I wanted to do some rides here this morning. My, my workout last night really took a lot out of me, so I just, that wasn't happening. I've had a lot of trouble this week waking up on time. I think I've only, been out of bed before 6 a.m. once this week. I think that was Tuesday. Yeah. So I've been bumming it. But, you know, I had two weeks in a row of just just straight grinding. So I think I think my body's just telling me like, yeah, you gotta just slow it down just a smidge. You know, don't fucking kill yourself out here. So. All right, all right, guys. I will give you guys an update in a few hours. Uh, stay tuned. And I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Alrighty, it is 12.55 in the p.m. Roll my windows up. I know you can't really tell right now, but this shirt an hour ago was absolutely drenched in sweat. Uh, moving from one second floor apartment, second slash third floor apartment to another second floor apartment somewhere else. Move out took about two hours, move in an hour and 15 minutes. Um, it, was, it was rough. Mm -hmm. Had some moments, uh, but we powered through. We did it. Uh, this is one of the situations where, same thing. I, you know, I got this task yesterday, and they said, you know, like we need, uh, you know, they had another tasker available. That person canceled. I made some phone calls. I got another tasker. We got cracking about eight forty something. The, the gig ended around 12, 15 ish. Uh, they paid me an hour on the on app and then hooked it up with cash for the rest. So for three and a half hours, where's my gangster roll? Where's my gangster roll? So me and my helper both made $200 in three and a half hours. And I think the reason this, the reason we got hooked up on, on cash and tips is because the person that hired us, that, you know, that, you know, booked the task rabbit gig, they said they kept on getting movers that bailed on them or canceled on them. So it was really hard to find reliable taskers, right? And me, you know, personality wise, I don't like to, 
I don't like to um, say I'm gonna do something and then not do it. So, you know, we did a good job. We didn't fuck anything up. <laughs> At least I don't think, I don't think we did. So. So right now I'm gonna run lift for a while. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at right now. So I said it's 12.55, you guys see that? 12.57 right now. And I'm in a power zone. So luckily in my Lux approved car, I can load me up a power zone. Boom. I have a schedule pickup. It's actually no hair ride at two something. So I'm gonna try to stay as busy as I can um, and I think I'm going to, I don't know. It depends on how late I want to work. I already, I already made 200 bucks. So today should be a $400 day, but, but if I see some surged, I know that a couple prime now locations surge heavily on Fridays. So and since I'm taking tomorrow off, I think I might want to just work later today. Try to get a try to get a surge prime now. And today potentially could be a five hundred dollar day. Potentially, I do. I don't want to jump the gun and say for sure I'm gonna make all this money, but you never really know, right? Because um, I could definitely that amount of money would definitely be helpful because of the fact that I'm not working tomorrow. That'll help me kind of like get into a better mindset of actually relaxing. Cause then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not going to be looking at my apps going, what the fuck? I'm missing out on all this money. Right. So yeah. All right. So that's my update for now. I'll give you guys an update in a few hours. I bought three Gatorades. I got my cooler with me too. So I brought some Gatorades. Got a weird call coming in. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll update you guys in a little bit. Bye. All righty, guys. It is 6.22 p.m. And things have changed. Bartholomew's on speaker. I have to turn the, heat, the air up. Oh, God, I hate you so much. Did four tasks today, right? Finished the first one, did lift for an hour. I got a second task in Brookfield that required moving two washers and dryer. So had to drive like 35 minutes to go do that task. Took 40 something minutes. I had another task at 4.30 to rearrange rugs, you know, like area rugs. That one paid, I hate you so much, Bam. Paid $55 for 20 minutes. I got a $15 cash tip on top of the task. And then I sat around and waited because I had another task literally five minutes away from the last one. And that one took 20 minutes. So yeah, so all in all today, 200 plus 44, 244 plus, let's just say 40, 288 plus 55. I'm horrible at math. Bam, help me out. Uh, triple penetration. <laughs> <laughs> Three forty-three <laughs> plus seventy dollars on lift, four thirteen, and about eight and a half hours. Now here's here's the beautiful part: is I just turned off, I uh, just did the task, and I'm right by a power zone. So I'm gonna go load this fucking thing up and try to uh, make a little bit more money because I said I would not be going home till eight today. So why not get it while it's good? covered in sweat yeah you guys notice change shirts i'm fucking disgusting so all right i'm gonna make another video before i get home and i'll catch up with you guys a little bit all right and bam sucks by the way everyone everyone unsubscribe from no limitation ride show go unsubscribe and tell geo told you to do it hey i'm not telling y'all what to do all I'm hail the fighting. all hail the captain all right i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit all righty not enough caffeine today. It is 8.49 in the p.m. And I'm all done for the day. Let me turn on the brightness of my phone. And I managed through, through a lot of luck and sheer will 
I managed to crack $500 today and a little under, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and count the time it takes me to drive home because I left home around eight. So let's just go ahead and say 13 hours and 20-ish minutes. That's about, that's approximately the amount of time it's gonna take me to get home. Uh, so as you guys there on lift, 150, what was I say? 153 and 11 rides, three hours. I know that looks like a lot, but I got lucky with, I had three double digit power zones today. One of them was 20. I managed to get that one between my second and third task. Uh, one was, I think $11 on a, and then that's what I was loading it up on a Lux ride. And then that guy, it was a decent ride. And he left a tip. So that ride paid 30 bucks. Then I had another Lux ride. Uh, that power zone was actually more than the Lux ride itself. So yeah, so that's, that's why I made so much on lift. So I made one. 153 on task, or 153 on lift, excuse me, sorry. Let's go to my tasks. So, as you guys can see from those, four, there's four lined up there. Luckily, you don't see the whole names or dates, uh, or uh, addresses, I mean. So, that was... I made 200 on the first one, 44 on the second one, 50, 40 plus $15 cash tip. Well, the first one was 40 plus $160 in cash. Um, the third one was 40 plus 55, and the last one was 40. So on Task Rabbit today, I made 200 plus 44. Come on, dude. 200 plus 44 plus 55, so that 299 plus 40, so 339 on Task Rabbit plus 153. I want to make sure I get this right. 339 plus 153. 492. You guys are going to be like, that's not 500. You're right, it's not. I squeezed in one caviar order for about $14, so that puts me over the top at $506, my, uh, dollars. I was about to say that because I think I only drove, I think I only drove like 130 miles today, as of right now, I'm going to have to eat more miles before I get home, but I mean, today was a long fucking day, guys, it's a lot of physical labor, I sweat a lot, um, I had, I had downtime between my third and fourth task. I probably could have ran lift, but I did not want the rip. I did not want to run the risk of being dragged out of the city because I'm trying to increase my metric on task rabbit. So that definitely means not forfeiting uh, tasks, you know, not, not canceling on them like after I've already gotten them. So, you know, being there on time and ready to work. That's, that's, that's one. Wow. What the fuck? Was there an accident on the highway? Damn. God, there must have been. <laughs> I see the, I see the police lights. Um, yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm taking off tomorrow. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to make, I wanted to crack 500 bucks. And I think this is probably the first... This might be the first time I've cracked 300 bucks since like February, or 500, sorry. Does that sound right? I don't think I've had a $500 day since the pandemic started. Maybe I came close. I, I, I Honestly, I don't remember. Not including Ride Challenge money. I'm drawing a blank. I don't even know if I made that much on uh, the weekend of All-Star. Or I might have made 500 bucks the weekend of the all-star game maybe all right well yeah that's a wrap guys uh 13 hour friday in the bag 
and I will see you guys on Sunday. So, yeah. That's all I got for this one. I want to thank y'all for watching. My phone's on the way. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time.